Hello and thank you for watching Guitar How To's. Today let's change these tuners. I have the bridge and the stop bar taped so they don't come loose when I take the strings off. I also taped a piece of cardboard here so when the balls of the strings come out they don't scratch the guitar. Strings have been cut around the 12th fret, push them through, grab them as a bunch. These tuners have nuts. I've loosened all the nuts and now is a good time to get a place to store these. For storage, I like to use these clear plastic sandwich bags and just make a label for it. Here's what it looks like with the washer and the nut removed. Here's the guitar turned over and I'm going to take out each one of these screws and then uh, remove each of the tuners. Now, these should come right out. And if it's a little stiff, like that one was, a little jerky there, it might be because the lacquer wasn't completely cured when the tuners were put on. Whenever I have a chance where things are apart, I'd like to just wipe down the surfaces. These tuners are a little interesting. They have this part, which is kind of a thread nut combination, and of course the washer. And when you put them together, they look like this. And this thread will go into the thread. Uh, there's an inner matching uh, thread right here. And when you put them together, looks like that. Let's take it apart. Let's see what I mean. Let's see if it fits, by the way. Let me see. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty of room here. That's good. And I say that's good because this has to have a little bit of give to, in order to find the, the threads on the key part on this on the shaft here uh, but normally uh, on I shouldn't say normally but maybe on many tuners you put this piece in first but because of this tuners design I'm going to put this piece in first lightly lightly screw it into place and then flip the guitar over and screw down the uh, nut thread combination with the washer I've melted some wax to dip the tip of the screw, to wax the tip of the screw. Now, if you do this and this wax starts fuming, you want to get this into a well-ventilated area as soon as possible. Generally, it's a good idea to lay your work out in an organized and neat fashion. All the screws are in, but they're in very loosely. They're not in all the way. I'm hoping to keep some play in this. Now I'll put all these together. And I'll just finger tighten these. This is again, this is why I wanted to leave some, some play in each of these tuners so I can kind of wiggle this and make sure that it goes properly, so it gets properly seated. Then I'll go back and I'll tighten the screw in the back. Sometimes you might find one of them just doesn't want to thread properly. Uh, no problem, just back that off and try switching it with another one. Like I've done here, and that seems to address the issue. Each of the nuts have been placed on snugly, and I will do the same for the screws on the back. All right, there's no reason to turn these down hard 
just so the bottom of the screw touches the back of the tuner and then just a hair more and that's enough now finally turn them to see how they feel these are not this is much more stiff than this one is so the way you fix that is if your tuner has a little screw on the end you want to tighten that and you want to adjust these this is my opinion anyway I like to have them all uh, at the same pressure so I'm going to take a few minutes and adjust each one of these and that's it for today so I hope this video helped you out and you have a good day.